Hello there! This tutorial is all about how to create a localized menu button. I will take you through creating an alias and creating a menu item. Localizing your web page helps with search engine optimization and helps guide visitors to properties in a specific search area. To start off, when you log into your dashboard, this is the first page you'll see. Keep this page open, and let's visit the home page of your website. All you need to do is locate the URL at the top of the page and right click. Then click Open New Tab. Now we're going to search an area in our search widget. You can choose to move the map or choose a different area. You can also customize the search criteria. Once you've picked the search area you want your visitors to access, the next step is to create an alias. To do this, start by copying the URL. Notice that the URL is made up of the protocol at the beginning, the domain name, and lastly, the extension. Now let's head back to the dashboard. To create an alias, go to the Configurations tab, then click My Aliases. Here you will see a page of all the aliases you have created in the past. To add a new one, just click on the Add New Alias button. In the path box at the top, just paste the URL we copied before. Then scroll to the top of this box and delete the protocol, the domain name, and the slash right after it. When we create an alias, we are telling the system that we want to replace all these letters with more relevant words. This makes the URL clean and easier to work with. It's much easier to tell someone to go to your domain name slash hot properties than to try to explain this URL up here to them. Once the old URL is pasted, all you need to do is type the words you want to replace it with in this alias section. Please note that you can't use capitals or spaces in this area. Once you're done, click Create New Alias. You are now taken back to this page with a confirmation banner. Now that we have the alias created, we can move on and create a menu button for it. On the front page of your home page, notice that you have two menus. There's a primary menu and a visitor's tools. The primary menu is where you would want to keep pages that you want your visitors to easily access. Your visitors menu is for secondary items like your articles or your buying tips or your selling tips. To create a menu button, we need to head back to the dashboard. Here in the dashboard, we need to go to the content tab then click on Menu Manager. Here you can see the two menus. The primary one is at the top and the Visitors Tools, which is also known as the Resource Menu, is at the bottom. To add to this menu list, start by clicking on the Add Item button. Next, type in the title for your button and a description. At the bottom, you need to make sure the Link by Page button is clicked, and instead of having to deal with that long URL we copied earlier, we just need to type in the alias we created. Now to the right, you have the option to choose the order you want your menu items to be listed in. Just simply drag and drop it in place. Once you're done, 
click on Submit. We can view our button by going to the home page and clicking on the menu you added it to. And just like that, we created a menu button that shows listings in a specific area on the search map. If you have any questions, feel free to contact our technical support department.